Welcome to the Alpha Training and Consulting's online training program. Today we're going to answer the question, what is measurement bias? All right, remember Alpha Training and Consulting can help you get your ASQ certifications. We've been teaching these classes for over 20 years and improving them for 20 years. We have some great classes and we'd love to have you as one of our students. Now back to the question, what is measurement bias? Well, first of all, I measure a part. So here's my part. I measure it. I have some calipers. I measure it right there, the diameter. And so this is my measured value. But the true value of this part is over here. So this is what we say it is. This is what it really is. So bias is that distance from the measured value to the accept to the true value. Okay. In other words, it's called what? Error. We would call that measurement error. But measurement people don't call it error. They call it bias. So keep that in mind. And uh, by the way, measurement people do not like to call things uh, true value. So we shouldn't be calling it true value because we don't know what the true value really is. It's a mystery. No one really knows for sure exactly out to so many decimal points. So instead of calling it the true value, we should call it the acceptable reference value. So we measure this with the most uh, accurate machine we have available to us, call it the accepted reference value or true value, or it may be our standard that we're calibrating to. Okay, so let me read that. The difference between the observed average of measurements. Okay, a little bit different. So here is the measured value, but it says the observed average of the measurement. So I must measure this multiple times. I get the average, I get the whole distribution here. And uh, now I'm referring to the average of the measured values. The difference between the observed average, observed or measured value of measurements and the reference value, the true value, there. So that's all it is. That's all bias is, is that distance. Lack of bias is referred to as what? Accuracy. So if we can reduce that bias, at some point we call it accurate or accuracy. Low bias is high accuracy. All right, now that you know the basics, let's uh, just review something here. Here it is before the calibration, because that's how we reduce biases through calibration. And here's our accepted reference value right there. And notice we're outside of the spec limits. Therefore, this instrument is not acceptable. It's not calibrated. And so we need to reduce this bias by adjusting my measurement instrument until it's closer to the true value. So we do that, and this is what it is after calibration. There's the measured value, there's the accepted reference value. And now it's within the specs, the measured value is. Therefore, this is acceptable. It is a calibrated instrument. So hopefully that helped you understand measurement bias. It's a very important concept. All right, thank you for joining me in this lecture. Uh, hopefully you learned something that will help you out there. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me through my email address. And also, if you're interested in any of our certification exam preparation classes here, um, notice I have a website for each one of them. There's CQE, uh, www.asqcqe.com. You can learn all about that class there. And the same thing here. If you need to put this on pause, you can see the class of interest and write that down. All right. Thank you, and please keep us in mind should you have any uh, training needs. Thank you, and have a great day. Goodbye.